quick update now on Imran Ahmed Khan. As a second man has now come forward claiming that he met Khan at a birthday party in Suffolk in August 2015. He claims Khan, then in his early 40s, offered to give him oral sex and to take him to a hotel room to take cocaine and hire a sex worker. The man, to keep his identity anonymous, is being called Andrew. Andrew came forward after seeing Khan's conviction on Monday this week for sexually assaulting a 15-year-old boy. Andrew's mother, who was also at the party with her partner, said that she told Khan to stay away from her son after he told her about the oral sex proposition. The mother's partner said that he too told Khan to back off and that it was inappropriate to talk to Andrew in that way. Another party guest told that he also had words with Khan about the incident and someone who was working at the party has also said that they were told about the incident and that it was the talk of the party. Andrew says he first spotted Khan sitting by a campfire looking off his face. He claims he asked Khan if he was okay and that Khan said my friends had given him far too many pills. The next day Andrew joined a group of people who were listening to Ahmed Khan tell a story about working as a mediator between the UK government and the Taliban. He said he'd been shot at and blown up while travelling in a vehicle which was hit by an IED and then he lifted his shirt up to show us some scars. He asked me to touch them and I put my finger in one of the divots, said Andrew. Which I would say is an important factor because if Khan does have such scars then it would be unlikely that a 16 year old at that time would have known about them unless he was shown them. Andrew claims that Khan later offered to give him the best blowjob of your life. The teenager then told his mother what happened, prompting her interventions and that of her partner. Andrew then claims that Khan asked him if he'd ever done DP. He said no. He alleged that Khan then said something like, why don't we hang out and have some fun, before offering to book them a hotel in Henley, buy lots of cocaine and a prostitute and fuck all weekend. At the time, Andrew said he felt really uncomfortable. I didn't know how to take it. I was only 16, he said. Andrew said he's been motivated to come forward after learning that Khan planned to appeal his conviction and reading Khan's defence in the trial when he was trying to explain why he discussed pornography with his 15-year-old victim. Lawyers for Khan said on Thursday afternoon that they had advised him not to make a comment on Andrew's allegations. But it does seem that this fresh allegation was the breaking point for Khan as half an hour after this allegation was made, Khan resigned as an MP. Now I'm sure, as with almost all of these kinds of cases, far more is going to come out as time goes on. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, as I know many of you will. Until next time, stay safe, look after each other film the police and other officials.